So you can see here the screen of the LCD, yeah, in the normal setting. If if you just open it like this, so that's how it is, you can see absolutely almost nothing. And I'm just gonna show you the the ninja, yeah, compared to the ninja. So here is the ninja. Right here, the ninja screen. You know, it's much much different because I don't know if the camera you can see it, but I am looking at it right now. I can see everything. Yeah, I can see everything. Or the ninja in here. Or the with the Canon screen, you can see nothing. Ah, good that my friend. You know the Canon C70 is a great camera. But when you're shooting in a bright sunny day is like where I am today. It is so difficult to see anything with the LCD screen, you know, the rear LCD screen. So I have, I made that mistake of that. Okay, then I'm just going to adjust the brightness and that will be fine so that I can see anything. So I'm going to share with you two things. One thing, what you should not do when you're trying to address the brightness of the LCD screen. And secondly, what you have to do so that you know you can get a clear view of the of the of the screen right okay guys let me quickly touch on the sponsor of this video yeah <laughs> in truth yeah there is no sponsor i am the one that's sponsoring you know my video it's not sponsored by canon it's not sponsored by anybody but i want your support i want your support to grow my channel and deeply in me i hope that you know the content i'm putting you find it very useful that's what i you know that's what the aim yeah is to put a content there that you find it very useful. And if so, to help me grow, subscribe to my channel. That's the first thing. And also like the video. And when you do that, it will help the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm and say, that, okay, that's a good content, people like it, and will help the channel grow. So now let me show you the screen. So here it is, yeah? So when you get this current C70, so that is the screen that you get, right? That's the setting of the LCD screen. Last time I was shooting and I decided that um, the LCD screen is not bright enough, so I need to brighten up. So here's the mistake that you should not do. So what I have done as a mistake is that I went to the brightness, I just increased the brightness, right? Increase it, increase it, increase it, increase it, till I can see, I can see the screen. I don't know, you can see the screen now, yeah? So I can see the screen. I just said, okay, that's not enough. So let's go and add some contrast. And then I start adding contrast, 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 till somewhere there, right? And you can see the LCD screen becomes so bright that you can even not distinguish. So everything is bright. Mm, okay. So then, you know, the mistake is that when it's bright like that, I did not realize that um, when I, when you change the other setting, for example, I said to myself that, oh, that is too bright. I need to darken it a little bit. So I, I start adding ND filter, the internal ND filter. So I move from eight from there, right? And then I start looking at the LCD screen, but nothing is changing because you can see nothing has changed. It's still the same. You see, just bright. So it does not show you the real, you know, setting because you just see bright. So I, I shot shooting, I filming, I film, I said, okay, I got things right. So when I went home for editing, the foot is completely underexposed absolutely under post because I could not see the real um, the real the real setting that so that is the mistake that you should not do so I'm gonna change the thing back it was a six right so that's how not to do how not to brighten the screen so what I what I figure out is this yeah so we are going to return everything to its factory setting. It was zero, contrast was zero, good. Brightness, 
we also reduce it to zero. All right, okay, good. So we return everything to zero that we almost can see nothing. Then I, you go to luminous. All right, so that's the thing that that's how you change the setting. So you go to luminous and you select luminous and then you move one or two, but the maximum is two. So if you move that, you can see, yeah? You know, that's how it is, yeah? If you, if you dial one, you see how the screen starts improving. And if you think there is not enough, so you dial two and how the screen is bright. So now you can see exactly what it is. So it's like that. So let me go and then try to change the ND filter. So if I add more ND filter, so, you know, you can see the change into that screen too, right? So you can see the changes here. So I can see how it's darkened and so and so. So I'm gonna reduce it All right, to six. So you see the difference, yeah? Woof. If you wanna change the brightness of the LCD screen, so then use the luminous you increase one plus one or plus two as much that as you like, and you still can have a proper control of the, your setting. But if you just increase the other one, so absolutely you get everything wrong. All right, guys, so that's the video that I want to share with you. Yeah, let me come a little bit close here. Um, so I have learned that using the LCD screen yeah, in, in a bright, sunny day is so challenging. And the only solution, as I just demonstrated to you, that's the solution I find. But to do it right, to do it right is really important. Otherwise, you end up having a footage that's really underexposed and you just miss the opportunity. I'm here in Toronto shooting documentary. And how important is that every time that I shoot, I shoot, I have a footage, I have to get the setting right. And I'm and I made one mistake by opening up the brightness of the LCD screen, I did it, open up the, open up the contrast, I did it. And then when I'm changing the setting, I could not see the difference. And I end up with a footage just underexposed. Yeah, but luckily that is not so much important of that footage, so I, so that can go and can, can go. Yeah, so I really, Hope that you know you like this video and if so please you know support me subscribe to my channel and especially like this video and when you like it it gives kind of a boost to the youtube algorithm that the, the video content is great so people like it and then you promote it for more people and then my channel will grow that's only how i'm gonna grow my channel and i have so much content you know i'm gonna be here for three weeks in toronto i'm gonna do I'm going to learn about the cameras, so I'm going to share with you and, and how we're going to move um, you know, forward um, with that. So Akuna Matata, for me, it's always a pleasure to bring you new videos, and I hope that you find this very, very useful. You know, from me, it's only love. You know, from Toronto, this beautiful city of Toronto, and I hope that you guys are safe and protected, and I will see you in my next video. Ciao, bye now. Hey, listen, yeah? subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. It's a fun community here. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, okay. And like this video too, yeah? <laughs> All right. Okay. Cheers. Bye now.